all, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, as I think about wanting the rewards, yes, mm -hmm. I think it's so important. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the Winter Olympic champions, yes, mm -hmm. speed skating, oh. snowboarding, oh, oh my gosh, ski jumping, um, you know, I wanted to have personal ownership of every Olympic village in the world that no longer is making any money. Quite often they spend billions of dollars building these different places. <laughs> but after they have the summer or winter Olympics, no one's interested in, the, in them anymore. And well, A decade later, nobody really cares. <laughs> But I thought I'd buy them all and I'd fix them up. Yes. <laughs> now, let's say you're one of these women that wants to volunteer your sexual nerve endings. And I talk to you about the volunteers that I'm looking for that have uh, real special memories that they like to come to find out no longer need. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd fix up these uh, different uh, Olympic villages for those that are athletic. Pooch. In fact, there was one woman. <laughs> And this really, she's very attractive, shorter woman, smaller breasted, very athletic. And I thought I should have a couple thousand women at each Olympic village that has their their own special athleticism that may or may not have been to jail. <laughs> that just like playing games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've learned that the adult female mind for some women, yes doesn't really embrace the concept of being a mother until after 25 years old. <laughs> mm -hmm. For them, it's like, well, I've been an athlete all during high school, and then <laughs> my athletic aspirations were never materialized, and I got involved in drugs and alcohol, <laughs> ended up being jailed and treated as a misfit. <laughs> And uh, I was really good in high school at sports, but for some reason that crack cocaine really did me in. <laughs> now, could you get me 20 miles down in the actual ownership of all Olympic villages? And then <clears throat> when you look at those that have been imprisoned, pooch, because jail, if you didn't actually end up in prison, it's not as is bad <laughs> unless of course i go through the judges that put you in prison <laughs> because it's probably a county district or court judge that fucked you <laughs> and you needed that special type of treatment where you could do some ski jumping for a few years <laughs> Now, for some men, I have no use for them in my personal office, but this thing about being athletic in high school, if yeah, it causes you to be competitive. So when you look through the actual Social Security numbers of those that have been incarcerated, could you find out if they graduated from high school or they got a GED? Yes. And then find out if they were that star athlete in high school right now. Because it seems that some of those that are very athletic, they need to know that if I'm involved in their personal life, there are ways where you could wait out a lawsuit of <laughs> just playing soccer every day. Isn't that right, goalie? Goalie. Mm -hmm. Now, oops. Mm -hmm. I'm wanting some women that... That they were involved in gymnastics. Yes. In fact, I wanted to be a psychiatrist to those that are gymnasts that don't like wearing clothing. <laughs> Where I thought I would sit there and we do mental health evaluations together. <laughs> now, not to say that being a, a woman gymnast <laughs> and uh, me asking you to show me how to. <laughs> but as one of those that is psychiatrically trained <laughs> i know how to do a mental health evaluation i've had to Bud psychiatrist. <laughs> I print myself off a, a license or a security. <laughs>